So in this video we're going to look at all the other content that came with the Command Edition uh, starter set for 9th edition Warhammer 40,000. That's the core rule book, the command manual, all the dice, rulers, uh, transfers, and the big cardboard gaming board that came with it. Let's start with getting the simple stuff out of the way. This kit comes with two rulers. Each one is 12 inches long. Uh, which is great because I believe previous editions of starter sets, uh, the No No Fear and Dark Imperium from 8th edition had, I believe, 10 inch rulers, and the First Strike uh, box, also 8th edition, only had 6 inch rulers. So these are actually more realistic because if you're, or sorry, more useful. Because if your guy, your models move and advance, you can use one ruler to measure that distance rather than the same ruler multiple times flipping it over. It might not make uh, an actual distance uh, measurement be correct. Also, you get 10 six sided white dice. These are plain and simple, you can get them almost anywhere. Versatile. Um, the only issue is you're probably going to be having to re roll a lot of dice, especially if you use. Uh, let's say your full squad of Necrons firing once. The next thing from the uh, Command Edition box that I want to look at is the transfer sheet. Now I like transfers just because they're an easy way of adding a lot of personality and identifying features to individual models. And the fact that you get something like 600 transfers in this kit is awesome. Uh, the only downside I have here is actually kind of restricted. It only covers Ultramarines, Blood Angels, Space Wolves, and Dark Angels. So there's three other, or sorry, there's five other chapters that aren't even covered. Salamanders, Iron Hands, White Scars, Imperial Fists, just to name a few. Now, I kind of wish, rather than one as comprehensive uh, day, transfer sheet, maybe have two transfer sheets with less models or less transfers on each sheet I know this is probably just a, a personal thing but I do think there are going to be a lot of players who want to pick up this box set and will have a harder time making it match their army if they have to go out and buy chapter specific uh, cha um, transfers next is the gaming board now this is nice it's a high detail cardboard as you can see each of the sheets of cardboard are actually a couple millimeters thick so it's going to be fairly durable and you'll be able to get a lot of use out of it before it uh, it gets beat up. Now it is double sided the first side being a large Martian um, field so it looks like uh, if you want to represent any Mars or Forge World site this will be a great piece of terrain to work on. The flip side of it is this gray... It looks like it's got building ruins all over the place. You can see outlines of like half-buried ammo crates or floor structures uh, that you see in the terrain. Now, as much detail as this is, I personally don't like it because all of these little markers they're everywhere on this one. There's five of them in total, and they really do disrupt the, uh, the board. Because you can clearly tell, okay, well, this is meant for instructions only. So it's great for that, but I wish they had either stickers you could put on it or something else to remove them so you can get full use out of this side as well. Another thing worth noting about this cardboard game board is its size. Now it's actually roughly the same size if not the exact same size as a kill team board. So using this and some of the terrain from the Command Edition box set you could actually start a kill team playing field without actually getting too complicated and having to go buy a lot of terrain. Now it's going to be a little thin and you're going to want to flesh it out some more but it is a good start. 
Next, let's look at the command manual. So this is your main book for use with the content of the kit. It has all your instructions and uh, scenarios so you to, for you to build and play with everything in this box. It provides some nice uh, detailed pictures. Uh, it's got a lot of lore. But the main thing is, it shows you all the instructions. And, for some models, like the Space Marine Sergeant, it actually shows you both alternate builds. So that's really nice. Another good thing is, I love how, rather than trying to guess the size, each uh, set of instructions comes with a, kind of like a little template that you put the base on to make sure you have the right base. My one big issue with this command manual is that it has no painting guide. There's neither one here or on the back box, back of the box on the art. So it's kind of hard to get an idea of what to paint or how to do it uh, other than looking at the pictures provided. It's a shame that this manual doesn't have extra pages to show you what paints you can use or how you can do it. Um, because in past sets, like the uh, First Strike box from 8th edition, it came with four pages using, yeah, two or three paints, but it helped you get your models up and ready to go. Now, I know you can say for, oh, ninth edition, it's a little cons like hard to do because there's all these different paint models. Okay, I agree with you on that. But if you look at some of their sets, like the Tactical Marine Manual, it comes with pages listing out the different uh, paints you can use to make different chapters or different uh, paint patterns. So I don't know why they didn't put this in here. It would have been nice even if it was just a couple extra pages like you see here. Lastly, we have the Command Edition Boxes rule set. Now, this is just a simplified version of the core rules uh, you'd get in the main co um, not codex, but the Warhammer 40,000 rulebook. I say it's simplified, but really, it's just all the rules, none of the extra lore or history of all the different races and factions in Warhammer 40,000. So, you do get a few detailed paintings of different armies, but nothing like you would um, army specific for each of the say Xenos and um, Chaos armies. This is just two or three armies that are well painted up. Now in addition to all this which is a great way to start setting up and playing Warhammer 40,000 I wish they had included something that you could use as objective markers. Even if these were just little um, cardboard circles that you punched out of a larger sheet. Um, I kind of find it sad that this whole setup is, or kit is designed to set you up and get ready to go, but if you try using your rule book for anything extra, all the missions there have objectives that you need objective markers for. Now, I know a lot of people from previous editions already have them or it's super easy to go find or even make your own cheap little objective markers until you get something else but I really wish uh, as a starter set they would have come with some alright uh, thanks for watching and I know this has been a longer one but I just want to get this out for you guys so that you can see everything and make your decision better thanks